if there's heavy action in front of you, such as a bet and a raise, it's going to make it easier to sense you are behind and fold, as you see here. In fact, you may have had a hand you would have bet with had you been first to act, which would have resulted in you losing that bet when you were forced to fold to a player who both showed strength by raising and would have position on you for the remainder of the hand. Sometimes, however, in multiway pots, something called relative position, as opposed to absolute position, can be useful. Relative position is your position relative to the likely better, typically the preflop aggressor. The closer you are to the right of the likely aggressor, the better your relative position. For example, say you decide to call the min raise here with the nines from the cutoff, and then the button raises. Although you're out of position against the raiser, you will get to see post-flop how the other players react to what the raiser does on the flop. See, since generally players check to the pre-flop aggressor, here you can see what they do, and if they show a lot of strength, lay your hand down, or if they fold, decide how to proceed heads up against the initial raiser. It's never easy out of position, but relative position is something to be aware of, especially if you're on the right of a complete maniac, in which case you'll have the opportunity to see what the maniac does and how the other players respond to that to help you make your decision. This can also provide some great value opportunities.